time, boys and girls. Today we're going to read Running Shoes. This is your story for this week. I want you to listen to Miss Meyer read, follow along with your finger, and then record how long it took you to read the whole passage on the back. Okay, you're going to read three times. Escuchando con, escuchando cuando Miss Meyer lee a tu y mira a las palabras cuando yo lee. Cuando termina, termine. Tu, tu necesita lee todos y record tu tiempo aquí. Tres tiempos. Lee tres tiempos. Ok. Todo día de la semana. Ok, boys and girls. Follow along with me. This is... 8.4, running shoes. Running shoes. It looks like in the picture, this girl is talking to a boy, looking down at her foot. And then this girl looks like she is going to a school, but the school has lots of boys. There's no other girls. There's just a teacher and one girl. And then... The boy and the girl are together again here. I wonder what happens in the story. Let's listen to find out. Every year, the number man comes. He counts everyone in Sophie's village. One year, he sees Sophie looking at his running shoes. She wants a pair like them. They can make her wish come true. In a month, Sophie receives a pair of running shoes in the mail. Sophie asks her mother if she can go to school. Her mother says it's too far away. Sophie says that she has running shoes now. She can run there. Her mom smiles and tells her it is okay. The next day, Sophie runs the whole way to school. She tells the teacher that she wants to learn to read and write. The boys laugh at her, but Sophie wins a race against all of them. They become her friends too. One year later, the number man comes back to Sophie's village. She tells him that her dream is to help build a school in her village and to become a teacher. Hey, boys and girls, now it's your turn to read. Happy reading. Bye.